Meanwhile, the Department of Energy is planning to purchase a marine vessel that they intend to use for scientific research to extract data on the petroleum potential at the Philippine rise. The DOE hopes that President Duterte will approve this. Here's our BizWatch correspondent, Andre Ko, with the details. The Department of Energy has submitted a proposal to President Duterte to acquire a scientific exploration vessel using the Malampaya Fund. This was revealed by Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi. Secretary Cusi also revealed that he wants to pursue the scientific exploration at the Philippine Rise because some prospective investors are eyeing the petroleum blocks in the Philippine Rise. At the moment, the DOE is still hunting for prospective suppliers pending the President's approval. A marine research vessel may cost as much as 130 million US dollars. Should the DOE get President Duterte's go signal, the DOE will still have to seek Congress approval. This is because the Supreme Court has ruled that the use of the Malampaya Fund needs the permission of the legislative branch. More details from our BizWatch correspondent. The DOE has indicated that several investor groups have shown interest on the potential of the Philippine rice as a source of either oil or gas resource, although no serious tender has been received yet. This is also because the Department of Energy cannot offer validated data on the Philippine rice to interested parties. Even when the DOE acquired a research vessel, the agency is confident that it can get proposals on prospective petroleum service areas at the Philippine Rice.